Today, we officially launched the project Accelerating Governance and Adaptive Pedagogy through Artificial Intelligence or Project Agapai. Guided by the ASEAN Vision 2045 and made possible through the partnership of the DepEd and the ASEAN Foundation, this initiative reflects our belief that education must evolve in tandem with the changes in our world. Developed through consultation with students, parents, teachers, AI experts, and education partners, these guidelines will ensure that our framework is inclusive and comprehensive. We also recognize that AI is for the entire community, including our teachers and, of course, our parents as well. All of these initiatives will ensure that AI in education prepares our institutions to keep pace with technology and that every Filipino benefits from that, those new technologies. The DepEd is working closely with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT Responsible AI for Social Empowerment Education, and Day of AI to integrate AI concepts into basic educational curriculum. This will then strengthen learners' AI literacy, computational thinking, and digital innovation skills. Through investment in AI research and development, we ensure that this technology delivers real benefits while remaining ethical and responsible. As a tech enthusiast, I believe that AI will help us tackle more complex challenges. But there are still some things that technology cannot do for us. Technology cannot replace discipline. It cannot replace effort. It cannot replace the habit of showing up prepared and ready to learn. It cannot replace hard work. That is how we build a Bagong Pilipinas, one that is enabled by technology and powered by Filipinos who choose to learn, to work, and to aspire for a better future for all. Ito yung Project Agapay, ito yung umbrella program ng Department of Education to provide AI training to our teachers, to our learners. Uh, ito ay alinsunod sa pagiging chairperson ng Pilipinas ng ASEAN at uh, alinsunod din ito sa direksyon ng Pangulo na uh, maging major na tema ng uh, chairmanship ng uh, Pilipinas yung artificial intelligence. So alam natin na uh, ito ay uh, nagbabago ng lahat ng bagay sa mundo, industriya, negosyo, uh, the way we do things. So, talagang kailangan uh, hindi tayo maiwan dito at uh, maaring may mawala na trabaho dito pero meron ding ma maililikha ito. Kaya importante na uh, yung teachers natin dahil ito ay makakatulong sa kanilang, pag, sa kanilang pang araw araw na trabaho at uh, sa ating learners, sa kanilang pagsasaliksik. Pero at the same time, yung fundamentals ng education dapat hindi rin natin kalimutan. Tatlo yung impact dyan. No? Yung sa, on the part of the department, mas efficient at data-based yung mga decision natin on the part of our learners, mas advanced yung kanilang, ma-advance yung kanilang knowledge. Uh, but we, again, we don't, we shouldn't forget yung fundamental skills outside of AI, yung, yung reading, yung critical thinking, pero makakatulong dyan ang, ang training sa AI. At, at pangatlo sa ating teachers, uh, yung kanilang mga lessons, lesson plans, mababawasan ng oras sa pag-prepare po nito. Well, definitely, nag-partner na tayo sa maraming uh, mga private companies dahil alinsunod nito sa direksyon ng presidente na apalakasin ang uh, ang Department of Education and ang learning systems natin, not just through the government. So, uh, meron yung traditional partnerships with the DICT to provide connectivity with uh, uh, DPWH and local government units to construct our classrooms. But at the same time, meron tayong mga uh, not, uh, somewhat unconventional partnerships with the likes of Google, Microsoft, Canva, uh, Canmigo to provide AI for our teachers, for our learners. Uh, tsaka yung training, this will affect at least 1.5 million of our DepEd family. That's why part of the training is yung ethical use of AI. Yung, uh, syempre, uh, teachers must also be trained to spot uh, AI. It shouldn't be a substitute for thinking on the part of our students. Okay, Presidente, maraming salamat sa suporta. Kakapirma lang nyo lang po ng pinakamalaking budget sa edukasyon with a 30% increase. At na naglaan po tayo ng pondo dito sa AI dahil alam namin na gusto nyo yung uh, tayo hindi maiiwan at lahat po ng ating mga estudyante ay maging digitally savvy at uh, um, may dunong dito sa AI. Salamat po, Mr. President. 
Well, una, karangalan para sa lungsod keso na laging pinipili ang ating lungsod bilang venue kung saan ininulunsad yung mga mahalagang programa ng Department of Education. For me, that is a sign that they believe in uh, Quezon City being an education city that uh, it, we have already proven, for example, that a large chunk of our budget is allocated towards the education sector. And um, Secretary Angara is, is a believer in what we have been doing. I always um, show him the initiatives and innovations that the city has been doing towards improving education. We all know that uh, there is no escaping AI. AI is the way of the future. Uh, it is in fact one of the uh, nilang highlights uh, of not only of the last year but of the coming years as well. AI is being used in all aspects of life now and we would like to see AI as something that can improve greatly the productivity of our teachers, the efficiency of our teachers in creating their lesson plans, for example, as well as a, a tool that our students can use to improve their learning capacities. Kami naman, nandiyan ang aming pasasalamat at syempre, ayaw namin mapahiya, so lahat naman ay gagawin naman namin para patunayan na kayang-kaya namin itong bagong mga tungkulin at responsibilidad na ay pinagkakatiwala sa amin.